How can I best support my friend who wants to improve their overall health with better eating and exercise? Tristan, thank you. And I'm sure your friend is appreciative yeah, it's of so you kind. asking that question. I like, I want to be friends with Tristan. Yeah. Like that's in the book, we talk about your Simba cam friend. Mm. And if you've ever been to a hockey game or really any venue, I just associate it with hockey because of the crunch and they, they always do it, <laughs> but they have the Simba cam, you know, think of the classic kiss cam. They show it and you kiss. Mwah. The Simba cam is you pick up your child or pet or wife and <laughs> hold them in the air as if you're holding up Simba. So your Simba cam friend is the person that is holding you up. That person that wants to lift you higher when you don't know that you can go higher. And we all need that Simba cam friend. Mm -hmm. And Tristan sounds like he is the Simba cam friend. Yeah. He's the person lifting his buddy up and saying, Hey, I got you. Mm -hmm. I want to support you. I want to help. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. We all, we all need Christians in our life. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. So how do you actually help with overall health, better eating and exercises? Step one, have the conversation. Mm -hmm. we, we, we can't help if we don't know where that person needs help in. So it sounds simple, but really like have that conversation and, and make it I really care about you. And I know that you have these goals of exercising and, and eating well. What way can I support you? And shout out to my, one of my buddies who is my Simba cam friend. Mm. You know who you are, <laughs> but he consistently has told me if there's anything I can do to help you with the business, you let me know. Mm. Nothing is too big. Nothing is too small. And I go, oh, dude, I really appreciate that, but we're good. I know you have your own business. You have twin girls. Like you, mm -hmm. you have a lot going on. So like, don't worry. Like we'll, we'll be fine. He goes, no, I'm not accepting that. <laughs> if you need me to write a review, I'll write a review. If you need me to help with emails, I will help with emails. You tell me what I need to do to help you. Mm -hmm. And I, and I'm like, dang, like he's really in this. Mm -hmm. Like he's really there to support us. And, uh, you know, so when you have that conversation, <laughs> Don't accept the, wow, I really appreciate it, but like, I think, I think I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's make you great. Mm -hmm. So you're at a good level. How do I get you great? Like, you want to go grocery shopping together? Maybe I can swat your hands when you go for some Doritos. <laughs> Maybe I can keep you away from the snack aisle. Do you want me to text you and ask you how your workouts were for that week? Do you want me to help support by sending you podcasts like the Hope Not Note podcast mm -hmm. or, or Shame, other ones <laughs> that's out there? But, but how can we support people? And, and what we've learned is that the best value is the unexpected value. Mm -hmm. And there's so many ways that, that you can do that. Let me come help in meal prep mm -hmm. with you. Let, let's meal prep together. Like I need a meal prep for the week. You want a meal prep? Like let's do it together. Hey, I noticed that you're meal prepping, but you don't have Tupperware. I got you this gift of Tupperware to help you out on your goal. Like there's so many awesome ways that you can help out, but you have to ask. Yeah. And and you have to ask to get the conversation started, but then you have to lean in mm -hmm. to that person and, and basically don't let them say, nope, mm -hmm. I'm good. Like, all right, now let's get to that next level. Yeah, I think the desire to support someone is so pure and so good. But I think sometimes, which makes me so sad, but I'm sure I've been there, but sometimes people are embarrassed by support that they yeah. want or need and they don't want to ask for help or when they're offered help, they think, oh, I'm going to be a burden or, or something of a sense. And the reality is, is you're such a gift if you're the one reaching out. And if you're the one that wants someone to reach out and you're afraid to ask for help, like open yourself up, like humble, humble yourself in this new season. Because if you're wanting to improve your overall health and take that, that next step, that's a beautiful thing. But you have to humble yourself to know that you don't have all the answers and leaning on the support of other people. And I, I've mentioned this in podcasts before when we've talked about accountability partners, but make sure that your support system or the person you're going to for help is the type that's going to have great habits and is yeah. the type that's going to hold you accountable or is the type that's going to show up. Not that your other friends aren't great. I'm sure they are great, but we all know the, the personality that's like, all right, you're in this, I'm in this with you, let's do it. Versus like, oh, we're in this, great job. And they're like, kind of like the cheerleader, but they're not gonna like actually help you with certain things. And so I just recommend like, really make sure that your support system 
is somebody that is like a doer, I guess, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, and I'll add on to that. People will be impressed by your strengths, but they connect with your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to show vulnerability in order for that person to open up and say, I do need that help. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times we, we have these friends that are doers that, whoa, you lost 30 pounds and put on a six pack and are deadlifting this amount of weight. Like, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, here's how I did it. I ate this amount of calories per week and I deadlifted this amount. And they're just saying how they did it instead of saying, you know what? Like I did accomplish that, but there's a lot of challenges mm -hmm. along the way. There's a lot of times I thought, I can't do this anymore. There's a lot of times I didn't want to show up and I found a way to get myself to show up. So it is, it is a journey and I'm, I'm so proud of what I accomplished, but I couldn't have done it without people. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed that you're starting to enter into this and man, I wish, I wish I had more support when I was doing it. And now that I have done that, I, I, I would love to offer support to you. Mm -hmm. And I know like back then I probably wouldn't have wanted it, but now I know how much I would have appreciated it and how much I actually didn't need it. And I don't want you to have to go through that. So just let me know how I can support you and help you in your mission. Mm -hmm. That is a much better way than to go, hey, you're into fitness, look at my biceps. You want biceps <laughs> like me? I can get you biceps like this. Yeah. Like, no, show your vulnerabilities mm -hmm. and, and, and do it transparently and humbly. And that person will open up too. Yeah. And then you can really get down to the foundation of help that they need. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's shocking how little people need sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, can you just send me an encouraging message once a week? Like sometimes that's all people need yeah. is that little message of like, hey, saw you out there running today. <laughs> Keep it going, man. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Or that like, oh, look like you put on some muscle. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All of a sudden those two days waking up in the morning and doing <laughs> late nights is suddenly worth it because people have noticed these yeah. changes. I mean, not that you're doing it for other people's approval, but it can be helpful. But it can be helpful. Yeah. So show some vulnerability, be transparent, connect with your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And as Brandon was saying, you know, I, I look at it this way and uh, I forget who was saying it, but it was in jujitsu that you want to have the partner that is better than you, that humbles you, but then you want the partner that you can also humble. Mm -hmm. So that you're not constantly getting humbled over and over again and getting defeated, right. but that you're getting lessons from someone that has exceeded where you're at, but now you get to pass the lessons that you've gotten to that person who hasn't exceeded to where you're at now. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful chain that just keeps going and progressing. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's the beauty of leadership. Like you need someone to lead you, but if you're being led, you're called to lead others yeah. as well. And that's in every area of life, not just health and wellness, not just jujitsu or eating better or whatever, but it's, in every area of your life, you need a leader, you need a mentor and you need someone that you're mentoring yeah. or, or at least encouraging. And I would add in, you need someone who's your friend too, right? Like you, you need to have a leader, you need a, a mentor of some sort. You need to have someone that you're leading and, and bringing up, but you need to have like your friend, your encourager that that's right next to you. That's like being that cheerleader for you. Yep. Time for one more story. Go for one it. One more quick one. All right. <laughs> Just talking with Danny Matei who is a business coach, started cash paid PT back years ago, but he was in the military at first. And he was sharing the story of one of the, one of the ranking officers. He used to have a, a challenge me week. And basically it was anyone in their unit could challenge him at anything that they wanted to do. Mm. It didn't matter, but he never told them what his strengths and weaknesses were. So of course, some people were like, Oh, I'm going to wrestle him. Did not know that he wrestled at West Point. You, you picked the wrong battle. You should have done your research. Do not challenge the guy that wrestled at West Point. So some, some of the troops would go up and wrestle him and he would put him in submission and mm -hmm. just give him a whooping. And then other people would go, I'm going to challenge him on a math equation. I'm going to challenge him in philosophy. I'm going to challenge him in science. I'm going to challenge him in this, 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 and this. And he never backed down from a challenge. He lost way more challenges 
then he had won. Mm. But the reason he was doing it was to show that even though he's a ranking officer, he still has weaknesses and that we all need each other in order for this to be successful. I love that. And how cool in the military for that to happen. Mm -hmm. Like we think of the sergeant yelling all the time, calling people names, <laughs> and this one's come and challenge me in a math equation. Oh, I can't do that one, but I'm gonna try. And he wholeheartedly tried every time and came up short and everyone started following him. Everyone was like, wow, this guy, he's a leader. Yeah. Oh. I love that. Yeah. That's a great story to end with. <laughs>